Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. Well, as they used to say at the end of Happily Ever After, and so my journey comes to an end. I know they actually said, and so your journey comes to an end, but in this case, and so my journey comes to an end. But yours continues on. Reach forward and try and, and find your Happily Ever After. I know that's not the point of this YouTube video. The whole point of this YouTube video actually is to more or less, I know I kind of look weird in this light. I don't know why. Let me uh, get more light in here. There. That looks a little better. It's, it's just that lighting. I, I don't know why, but I look kind of strange on this phone and I'm not sure why but anyway what I'm trying to get at is yesterday I was or last night I know when I saw you guys last I was in northwestern Ontario at my aunt and uncle's house excuse me or uh, the other day I should say Monday yesterday I almost considered uh, doing a vlog at my uh, grandmother's house, just one more vlog, but, excuse me, I really want to get some sleep before my long drive back to northern Kentucky, so I tried to go to bed, and I was really focused on the air mattress, and I thought I finally figured it out. It ended up deflating on me like four different times last night. It was insane. Uh, I ended up sleeping until 7.45 this morning, and I basically finally left the house about 9.30 in the morning. Uh, got across the border, no problems, which was nice. I stopped for my first time in Angola, New York, and got coffee and uh, got gas for the car. I got as far as just outside of Cleveland and stopped to use the restroom. And then I kept going all the way until I got basically to Cincinnati. So exit 19 on I-71, which was actually a really good stop for dinner. Uh, stopped to use the, sorry, stopped to get gas before that and use the restroom again. And um, I had to make another detour to my brother's place again, or my brother's neck of the woods, I should say. Went back to the house, uh, hung out in my room for a little bit, and um, opened presents of the family. And... Um, Finally got everything unpacked and everybody's pretty much left or gone to bed for the night. I'm just about to go to bed myself and I just wanted to tell you guys more or less the conclusion of the vlog. So the vlog, the uh, last vlog is basically going to be called What Was It Like in Canada with COVID Going On? It was an interesting experience. I kind of went over everything a little bit at a time. And uh, when, in 10 minutes or less, I'm basically going to say that the uh, first night, it was really strange being asked for uh, full proof of vaccination just to be able to eat out and uh, an ID of some sort, which I need to go back downstairs and make sure my driver's license arrives. So I'm going to go back downstairs in a few minutes. So I almost forgot about that. I thought that arrived in the mail today. And then, um, it was just weird being forced to wear a mask again, because <laughs> I'm not used to doing that, really, to be honest. And, uh, I had to show proof of vaccination again the next day on Christmas Eve, when I went to that, uh, place called Symposium out in, uh, Milton. And then, um, Christmas Day and Boxing Day, day after Christmas, didn't really count, just because of the fact that, um, I was pretty much on my aunt and uncle's house, but it was kind of fun having 15 people in the house, even though half of those people are like, I don't know, COVID's going on, so it was just kind of weird like that. And then um, yesterday, I, which was Monday the 27th, I was um, in Barrie, and thankfully they had their Tim Hortons open, but ironically they did not ask for proof of vaccination, but they did require face masks. And so then I found out later on that afternoon when we stopped at 
a place called Harvey's, which I'm going to actually attach those pictures of what a Harvey's is at the end of this vlog. It's more or less a place where you can customize how you want your hamburger, almost like a Fuddruckers. It's a fast food style chain in uh, Canada, and they're all over Ontario, at least uh, for sure. I They might be uh, all all over Canada in general. And I figured you guys would like to see what it looks like, so I took a, a bunch of pictures of what a Harvey's looks like. We stopped, or at least I stopped in a, at a Harvey's in St. Catharines, which is actually where I um, did my very first Canada vlog, was in that area, and I stayed in a motel right there as well. That's where I stayed when my, when my uh, cousin was getting married, or around that time frame. My cousin Laura, who uh, was the first one on my mom's side of the family to get married, so uh, there was a fun debate about four years ago that me or my cousin Paul would be next to get married, so it would be kind of interesting to see who gets married next. And I, I look forward to it, and I pray and hope, personally, that I get to have my wedding in Canada because I would like to have all my Canadian family and friends there, but I would also like all my uh, American friends there as well, so it's just... It's one of those things, you know, but anyway, um, yeah, unfortunately, as of yesterday, Canada decided to close down all their indoor dining for whatever reason in the, uh, Niagara Falls, Hamilton area, which was kind of frustrating, and, um, we end up having to, or at least I end up having to get, uh, the food to go and brought it back to my grandmother's house, and I ate it there. It was cold, but I really didn't care. I didn't feel like microwaving. I was just like, I'm just going to eat it. I consider getting poutine, but I literally just had that on Christmas Eve at that symposium place. It was really, really good. And I always loved the onion rings at Harvey, so that's actually what I got instead of fries. So that was kind of nice, but... Uh, that was more or less how I uh, wrapped up my vacation. I went and said hello to a family friend, uh, Dietland very 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 sweet older lady uh german and she lives not too far from where my grandmother used to live she's just literally down the street so i walked over and spent about 30 minutes with her and had a nice chat it was nice that she remembered me even at her age and she gave me a couple of hugs i made sure she knew that i was fully vaccinated that i tested negative just to be able to go into canada and once again, you know, I'm not overly proud about the fact that I had to get fully vaccinated, but at the same time, if it meant being able to go to Canada and not having to quarantine, then I was all for it. And I really want to see my family that badly, and that's why I was willing to do it. And if, you know, there's anybody that watches my YouTube channel that's for the vaccine or not for, for the vaccine, you know, um, you're entitled to your own opinion. I'm uh, you guys already know how I feel about the vaccine. The vaccine is not against God's word at all, but at the same time, this, the fact that the government is trying to force us is definitely a sign that uh, the mark of the beast is to come. So that's all I have to say about that. But at the same time, I'm not going to judge you if you want to get the vaccine or if you don't want to get the vaccine. I chose to get the vaccine just to see my family up in Canada. As I uh, come to a close, I just basically wanted to uh, finish up by saying that, um, yes, this morning was a little bit rough, and yes, I did have to buy another $3 coffee from McDonald's in Angola, New York, and yes, they are they can be a little rude over there, but it's New York for crying out loud, and I mean, it's Buffalo, I was surprised it wasn't even that bad. If you had gone to New York City, it would have been a whole lot worse. So... Yeah, it's, it's nice to be back in northern Kentucky where um, not as many people are wearing face masks. And uh, yes, you still have Andy Bashir trying to get people to get fully vaccinated, but people can now choose to be fully vaccinated. And I don't see businesses forcing you to prove that you're vaccinated in order to enter the business. And uh, Lord willing, uh, that will never happen, so... But at the same time, you know, just continue to pray that um, God's will will be done in the future as I see that uh, Fauci and Biden are trying to crack the whip on, on COVID and everything. 
and uh, you just you never know what 2022 is going to bring. So, unlike when I first walked in 2020, I'm going to walk into 2022 very carefully. I'm basically just looking at 2022 as I'm excited about going back to Florida at the end of February, which my parents are completely okay with. But at the same time, I'm like, well, I definitely don't want anything bad to happen. So I'm basically expecting the worst possible scenario to happen. Like, you never know what's going to happen on Omicron. You never know what's going to happen with COVID just in general. So all we can do is pray. And um, until then, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Uh, I do have good news for you guys, so I have two more long days left of the Ark Encounter, and then I have uh, two eight, nine hour days, and then I'm off for three days in a row, because we're going into our winter hour, so, excuse me, sorry, not too much longer, and then I will be doing my uh, vlogging every single week preferably on Mondays and Tuesdays, or at least on Mondays, or at least on Tuesdays, or something like that. And that will be going on every single week until, um, basically I go to Central Florida, then I'll be vlogging the entire six, seven days, seven days that I'm in Central Florida, and then I'll continue, and then I'll go back to do my normal YouTubing as soon as I get back from uh, Central Florida, more than likely the following week, and That'll probably be the wrap-up of the winter YouTubing, and then I'll just kind of YouTube whenever I possibly can. So enjoy the amount of YouTubing that I can do for you guys over the next few weeks. Sorry, few months. I do apologize that my Canada vlogs were not as exciting as what I did four years ago. Uh, the whole purpose of this trip was for me to see family and friends. Unfortunately, the people I was traveling with were not overly big about me. YouTubing, so I just kind of improvised and just do what I could. I promise for sure that the Central Florida trip will be a lot more exciting. I did see I lost two subscribers over the past six days, and I'm very sad about that. So I'm going to try to get them back while I'm up down in Central Florida. But for real this time, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Have a great night. Peace out.